Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts? My grandparents' ashes. Oh, wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, that's their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died, they were cremated, they wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it, it's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah. But, Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. I got it. I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this. Oh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? Wh why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? Nah. No. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm about to get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke! Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do! And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. But no, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like, this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. Alright, guys, okay, what are we gonna do about this? But what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it, because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last! Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm going to sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we going to find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. What? What? No, no, no. Oh, oh, Jeffy! Come on, Jeffy! Oh. Come on, we needed that. You're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy! No, there wasn't! There were two vases! No, so one of a kind price was handed down for generation to generation of my family! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they framed me. Jeffy gets framed. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends framed me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll, we'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. <laughs> All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me? But this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know. It's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? 
<laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna open the box now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, there's no more pieces of in there? No, it's just his head. What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now. What? No, I'm not going to tell the truth just because you got Ken's head. But Junior, look what he did to him. Oh, look, look, but maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room? Along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's. So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's? Double. Well, I did! I love Dave's doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're gonna give you a spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's gonna try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes! I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Why? <laughs> you guys ready to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Or Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. Alright, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. Right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm-mm, mm, mm My famous soup is almost ready. Oh, hey, Jeffy. What are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined. Just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What? No, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. Chef Pee. Oh. 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 You killed Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm gonna keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Pee Pee back. Are you gonna tell the truth? Man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Uh -huh. Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed. We should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> Sick. Is there anything I can get you, Marvin? Uh, I think I'm gonna need more tissues. Okay. Hey, Nanny, can I show you my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster? That's really cool, Jeffy. Can't play with it. Um, I'm really sick. Can you play with it tomorrow? No, no, I cannot. It has to be today. Jeffy, Marvin doesn't feel well. Too bad. I have an appointment to play with my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster, and I want to show Daddy what it does. What does it do, Jeffy? SpongeBob Creams. <laughs> Giggle Goo Blaster! 
Yeah, SpongeBob just creamed. He's SpongeBob cream pants, and I just pooped, so I'm SpongeBob poop pants. Jeffy, you made a huge mess. You better go get some napkins and clean all this up. Uh. Here you go, Donnie. Here's your paper towel. All right, Jeffy, start cleaning up the mess. Too hard. No, it's not too hard, Jeffy. Grab a paper towel and wipe it up. My hands don't work. They work when you're playing with the SpongeBob Giggle Blaster. Well, that was fun. This isn't. Jeffy, I'll clean it up, but go get Marvin a thermometer. He might have a fever. Okay. Baby, you don't have to clean this up. Jeffy did it. It's okay, Marvin. Here, Donnie. Here's your thermometer. But I'm feeling kind of sick, so can I take my temperature first? Hurry up. <laughs> Jeffy, you just stick that up your butt. Uh huh. What? Jeffy. Oh, I think it's ready. Ugh. Yep, smells like I have a fever. All right, Daddy, your turn. Hey, oh, get that away from me. Marvin, I think you should go see a doctor. I really think. <laughs> Jeffy, get, uh. insi get inside your cat carrier. But I don't want my cat carrier, Daddy. No hissing. Ow. Jeffy, listen. Ow. You have to get in your cat carrier because we can't trust you inside the house when we're gone because you might break everything. But Daddy, it's not my fault my hands break things. Yes, it is, Jeffy. So look, get in the cat cage and we'll let you out when we get back. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. Ow. Ow. Hey, get in there. Ow. Go. Ow. All right, Jeffy, you stay in your cage. We'll be gone for like an hour. Okay, but what if I have to poop? Just do it in the corner of the cage. Okay. All right, baby, let's go. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. We haven't started yet. Yeah, Joseph, we didn't start yet. Oh, my bad. I'm just ready. You guys ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, Cody, who's going to be on your team? Because me and Joseph are going to be on our team. Well, that's not fair. That's two against one. Well, you got to find a teammate. Well, do you think Chef Pee would want to be on my team? Is he even good at dodgeball? I don't know. All right, how about we throw a dodgeball at him and see if he's good at dodging it? Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, my hibachi stir fry looks almost done. Man, it looks so delicious. I just love watching it cook. Chef Pee-Pee just got wrecked, Cody. He just got pwned. Is that really who you want to be your teammate? No, I guess not. But to be fair, he didn't even know we were playing. You no, know, he sucks at dodgeball. Good dodgeball players are always looking out for balls. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's why you're a good dodgeball player. You're always looking for balls. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. You, you want to go see if Jeffy will be your teammate? Okay. Hey, Jeffy, you want to play dodgeball? What? Have you seen Jeffy? Ooh, look, a thermometer. I'm going to take my temperature. I think I'm getting sick. This has been in someone's ass. Are you sick, Cody? Well, now I am. <sighs> Where's Jeffy? <laughs> What, do you hear a cat, Cody? Yeah. Come on! Jeffy, what are you doing inside a cage? My mommy and daddy don't trust me, so they put me in the cat cage. Why don't they trust you? Because they say I break things. Well, Cody needs a partner in dodgeball. You want to play? Sure! You just gotta let me out of the cage. All right, Cody, let him out of the cage. Okay. <sighs> Okay, we got our teams for dodgeball. So the rules are, if you get hit with the ball, you're out, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> throw it, Joseph, throw it! <laughs> throw it, Cody! Oh no, I broke a vase! Come on, we gotta grab a ball! <laughs> All right, Cody, I got the ball. Hold on, let me see where they're at. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, Jeffy, the defenseless, hit him! All right. Oh, oh. no! Speak to me! Speak to me, please! Uh, avenge me, Joseph. Oh, I'll avenge you, bro. Uh, ah, this is for doing it! Wait, 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 wait! Ah. For hitting Cody, you're gonna die now! Yeah. Uh, you suck, dude! Uh. Woo! I won, I won! You guys suck at dodgeball! Uh. Well, well, technically, me and Joseph were on team, so we won at dodgeball! Yay! Dude, you didn't do anything! But, but we were on team, so yay! No, not gay. I'm gonna go check on Cody and Jeffy. You guys okay? No, I think he broke my nose. It doesn't look too bad, Cody. Really? You okay, Jeffy? Jeffy? Oh no, I think he got knocked out. Oh no, what if he's dead? Let me see. No, he has a pulse. Oh no, but if his parents find out that we knocked him out, they're gonna tell our parents and we're gonna get grounded. Oh no. Okay, so let's go put him back in the cat carrier. They'll never know. Okay. All right, Cody, get his legs. Okay, I got his legs. Ugh. 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 
No, but push, push more. Uh, okay. Um. Oh man, it's heavy. <clears throat> Close it. Shoe in there. Close it. Okay. Um. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Uh, Hey there, you came to see a doctor? Yeah. Marvin, is that you? You are getting so big. How old are you now? 40. Oh, they grow up so fast. Last time I saw you, you were knee high to a grasshopper. How's it going, Mom? Um, I'm his wife. That's great. That is just great. I'm going to listen to your lungs now. Okay, so what grade are you in, Marvin? I'm not in school. Uh, Mom, why is he not in school? What What are you doing right now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm still in pediatrician mode. This is how I talk to kids to make them feel good about doctors. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm me now. I, I got to listen to your lungs. Hold on. Just, just breathe for me. <coughs> okay, I said breathe, not cough. Ew. But I can tell you're sick. Is he gonna make it, doctor? Uh, I don't know. Open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Not you, dummy. Him. Uh. Okay. Oh, what was that for? I don't know. Turn around and bend over and spread those cheeks. Okay. Uh. Oh, man. That prostate is the size of a golf ball. Oh. <laughs> Well, I can tell you're sick. Well, do you have anything to help me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got this medicine right here that should clear it right up. Oh, thank you. But I just want to let you know that there's a global shortage of this medicine, and a lot of old people are dying from what you have, and they need this medicine. And if they don't get it, they're probably going to die. So you're saying I can't get the medicine? No, I'm saying you can get the medicine. It's just you're perfectly healthy. Your immune system's fine. You'll get over this in a few days, but they're going to die. So if you take this medicine, that means you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. So I can't have the medicine? Oh, you can have the medicine. It's just by taking the medicine, you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't like the elderly. But, I mean, personally, I wouldn't take it because I'm not a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. But you, I don't know. We'll see. Wow! Okay, so you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. I just, I'm just tired of the no, cough. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's just if you're going to take that medicine, I need to record a video of you saying you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Marvin, let's just go. But <coughs> I'm tired of the coughing. You don't need the medicine. Go ahead. I'm a weak pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Okay, got it. Thank you. Marvin. Marvin, I can't believe you took that medicine. Baby, I'm tired of <coughs> coughing. I'm sick. I need to get better. But there's a global shortage. There's no shortage. It's just something they say to save money. I don't know, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, it's time to get out of the cage. Jeffy! Marvin, maybe he's sleeping. Jeffy, wake up! Get out of your cage! Baby, open the cage. Okay. Drag him out. Come on, Jeffy. Jeffy, wake up! Jeffy? Jeffy, wake up! Marvin, he's not waking up! Wake up, Jeffy! Marvin, we should call a doctor! No, he's just faking it. Oh, no! Uh, call a doctor! Okay! Call a doctor, Jeffy! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's not- Oh, look who it is! The weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly! You know, I put that video online, it already has 10 million hits. People hate you. Listen, my son's knocked out, he's not moving! Well, let me see if he has a pulse. Well, he's got a pulse, he's still alive. Okay, so what, what do we do? Well, tell me what happened. Alright, so, we went to the hospital to see you because of my cough, you know, we put him in his cage and then we got back- Hold up, I'm sorry, you, you put your son in a cage? Yeah, yeah, so we put him in a cage when we leave because we don't want him to break stuff. You, you're telling me you put your son in a cage? Well, yeah, because like he likes to break stuff, we don't want him roaming around- So, so, so how, how old is he again? He's 18 years old. So you put a grown man in a pet taxi? Well, listen, we put him in the cage to protect him because, you know, he likes to break stuff and make messes. So we just put him in a cage for like a few hours. Well, that maybe that's why he passed out is because he didn't have a lot of circulation in the pet taxi and, and you didn't leave him any food and water. Did you at least let him use the litter box before you put him in there? Well, listen, no, he usually can hold it for a long time. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should be putting on my cop outfit. Well, no, no, you don't need your cop outfit. He likes the, 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 the cat cage. Marvin, maybe Jeffy needs some water. I'm going to go get him some. Yeah, I guess some water. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm gonna put my cop uniform on. No! What a Jeffy! Tell, tell him you like the cage! Wake up! Alright, I am dressed to arrest. Now, you better tell me that cage thing was some kind of joke, but I can see the cage, so, I mean, you're pretty guilty. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! I found a bunch of broken glass downstairs and this dodgeball! What? A dodgeball, you say? You know, in high school, I was a dodgeball champion. I knocked out all the other kids. You know what? I'll tell you what. I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one dodgeball game. If you beat me, I won't arrest you. But if I beat you, you. Not only will I arrest you, I'm taking your medicine too. Come on, Marvin, you don't want to be arrested, do you? But I'm not good at dodgeball. But what do you have to lose? Huh, Marvin? Come on, you want to get arrested or play me? <sighs> I guess I'll play you in dodgeball. Yes! Oh, you're gonna get creamed! <sighs> All right, Marvin, I blindfolded myself because my old coach Patches O'Houlihan taught me if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay? One, two, three, go! Uh. <laughs> Got you, slut! Now, ow! Uh. 
Well, Marvin, you won fair and square. I guess I probably shouldn't have worn that blindfold. That's what I get for being cocky. Unless I actually did hit you and you were lying. No, you didn't even come close to hitting me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I want to arrest you then. Uh, oh, Jeffy, are you okay? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You locked him in that cage. That's what happened. Yeah, no more cage. Yeah, you better get rid of that cage unless you want to get arrested. All right, fine. I won't put Jeffy in a cage anymore. Good. And we all learned a lesson because I will never wear a blindfold while playing dodgeball again. So, you gonna take that medicine? Yeah, I really wanna Weak take- Weak little pussy bitch! Marvin, our Halloween costumes are so cute! Jeffy's the cat in the hat and we're thing one and thing two! And thing three is in my pants. I'm just tired of Halloween already. Marvin, don't say that. Halloween's amazing. You get to dress up in costumes, you get to carve pumpkins, and you get to go trick-or-treating. Cat penis. Jeffy, stop it. Well, Danny, what does a cat wiener look like? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. Listen, I'm just, I'm tired of Halloween. Like, you dress up in costumes every year. It's so shot. I don't wanna look at a cat wiener, Jeffy. Why is it bigger than mine? Put your phone away, Jeffy. Okay, so what, do, what does everyone want to do for Halloween? Well, I think since I'm dressed up as the cat in the hat, I should try to rhyme every time I talk. Okay, uh, what's your favorite candy? Reese's Pieces. Um, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Reese's Pieces. You can't say Reese's Pieces to everything, Jeffy. Uh, what's your favorite color? Reese's Pieces. But that's not a color! Marvin, maybe he's saying he likes the color orange and brown. And yellow, pillow. Yellow and pillow don't rhyme, Jeffy. Yes, it does, Santa Claus. What the, that doesn't rhyme. Okay, look, I'm gonna stop getting so mad about your stupid costume and in the rhymes. All right, listen, so what are we gonna do first? Let's carve pumpkins. What's carve pumpkins? I asked. What's carve pumpkins? But you can't rhyme your first sentence with the... <sighs> We're gonna go carve pumpkins, Jeffy, come on. Okay, Jeffy, you're gonna carve this big pumpkin right here. And I'm gonna carve this tiny one. If my wiener was your pumpkin, it'd be the tiny one. That didn't rhyme, Jeffy. Reese's Pieces. You can't end every sentence with Reese's Pieces. That doesn't count. Well, rhyming's too hard, so I give up. Okay, look, let's just carve this pumpkin. What does carve pumpkin mean? Uh, baby, show them what it means. Okay, you take a knife, and then you stab your pumpkin like this. Ah! You stabbed your baby pumpkin in front of its mommy! You're going to hell! Murderer! Jeffy. Murderer! Yeah, you're supposed to Murderer! Jeffy, you're supposed to do that what carving pumpkins is. Murderer! Come on, Jeffy. You guys killed a baby pumpkin! We were carving- Murderer! That's how you carve pumpkins, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Or should I say, a uh, Jedi? What? Hold on. Damn it, stupid thing. Um, wait, give it a second. It's supposed to light up. Uh, uh, ha, 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 a Jedi? Isn't that sick? Isn't technology amazing? You know, like those Velcro shoes? You don't even have to learn how to tie your shoes. I sure didn't. Anyway, why'd you guys really call me? My parents are murderers! Oh no, were they killing younglings? Yes! That sounds like Sith behavior to me! Ugh. Ow! You, come here! Ugh. Ow! Okay, I took care of them, but what's really going on? Okay, we were carving pumpkins, and we stabbed the baby pumpkin. In front of the mommy pumpkin? What, yeah. Ugh. Ow! Okay, first of all, actually, also, anyway, nevertheless, uh, carving pumpkins is not illegal. We were trying to tell Jeffy that, it's not illegal. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go back home and pass out candy, which is what you should be doing. Ugh. Okay, all right, guys, we're gonna do what the cop said. We're gonna go pass out candy, come on. All right, Jeffy, when you hear the doorbell, you're gonna pass out candy, okay? Okay. There's someone at the door. What, Jeffy, you're supposed to wait for me to open the door. Oh, okay. Trick or treat, ow! What, Jeffy, no, you're supposed to toss the candy in the bag. Oh, okay, let me try again. Well, no, don't give me more candy. Ow! I'm racist cops. We don't pass out candy to racist cops. But, but, no, racist cops. All right, look, you got enough candy so you can go. But he didn't put the candy in the bag. Look, just go. Okay. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, I'm going to pass out candy to the next trick-or-treater because you don't know how to do it. <gasps> There's someone else. Trigglers, trugglers. Your boy, Dougie. You're supposed to say trick-or-treat. Church is chicken. What? No, no, look, you can't trick-or-treat at your own house. But I don't want no candy. I want some money. I'm not giving you money. Well, I need the new Coolerist Doodlers. Look, look, look we, you can get that later. Well, I'm the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. Bye, your boy, Dougie. Wait, where's my money? <sighs> okay, look, let's go upstairs and figure out something else, because handing out candy's not fun. 
Okay, we just passed out candy. We carved pumpkins. I'm ready to go to bed. No, Marvin, we still have to go trick or treating. Yeah, Daddy, I want some candy. Okay, let's hurry up and go trick or treating. Let's get it over with. Actually, Marvin, I'm tired. I'm gonna stay home. Well, no, if anyone gets to stay home, it's me. I don't wanna go out in the cold. Well, someone has to pass out candy. Well, yeah, Daddy, she's got a point. Well, I'll pass out the candy. No, Marvin, you're thing one. Thing two by themselves doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Daddy, I got thing two right here on the roof. Oh, okay, come on, let's just go. Okay, Jeffy, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating so I can go to bed. <coughs> trick-or-treaters, <ugh>. Hello? <laughs> trick-or-treat, what, what the fuck? What, Jeffy, don't, don't throw candy at him. Uh, what are you doing here, Goodman? I'm here for your health payment, Marvin. Already? Yeah, because it's the end of the month. Uh, well, me and my son were about to go trick-or-treating. Marvin, do you know what my costume is? You're a horse? Yeah, and in case you're wondering, the carpets do match the drapes. I got a horse cleaner, Marvin. Okay. Yeah, so since you don't have my house payment, I'm taking your candy that you're going to give out to the kids in your neighborhood. What? So now you look like an asshole. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. Trick or treat. Oh, oh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. Okay, Jeffy, this is the first house. Danny, why do I have a cupcake pan? Because we didn't have any trash bags. Are we poor? Yes. Oh, Ooh, trick or treat. Jeffy, be nice. Hello? Trick or treat, suck my ass. What, Jeffy? Oh, what lovely man is. That's the spirit. I'm Count Succula. I can suck anyone off. Yes, you can. I was her first victim before you knocked on the door. Thanks for interrupting. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm Tiger, the rapper. Oh, I thought you were a Tigger. Ooh, you one let off from getting the ass whooping, boy. Here you go. Here's some candy. All right, Jeffy, what do you say? Piss off. What, Jeffy? Come on. Oh, Count Succula, I, I think I need to be a victim again. <laughs> Meow. Okay, Jeffy, this is the next house. This is not the candy you're looking for. Oh, hey, it's you guys. I guess you came here for the good candy. Well, too bad, because it's all mine, especially the Reese's Pieces. No one can have those. Those are my favorite. Now, boy, you don't be stingy with your candy. Ugh, this is my wife. She's a mermaid. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Boy, you were supposed to be my princess. Rick. Yeah, well, I don't know who that is, so you can have fun passing out the candy, but don't give them my Reese's Pieces. Uh, can we have some candy, please? Okay, sure. There you go. Happy Halloween. More. Jeffrey, no, come on. Boy, I handed out the candy. Wait, wait a minute. One, two, three. Karen, two of my Reese's Pieces are missing. Your what? My Reese's Pieces, these. Oh. I thought you said Reese's Cups. We don't have any Reese's Cups, Karen. Well, I'm sorry, Boiny. I didn't understand the directions. Hey, Yuki and Guy. Well, Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, since I'm your brother, I figured it was okay if I just walk in your house. No, leave. You didn't even ask me what my outfit was. I'm tomato. Because you're like toes. Get it? <laughs> Karen, show me your toes. Oh, I'm a mermaid. I don't have toes. Show me your boobies, then. Okay, Jonathan, I think you need to leave. Can I have some candy first? No. <laughs> I'm telling mom. Oh, don't tell mom. Damn it. Karen, I can't believe you gave away two of my Reese's pieces. I'm gonna, I know where those people live. I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna get my candy back. Boy, need you leave those nice people alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, let's look at all the candy we got from trick-or-treating. Yeah! Okay, well, I got some fruit roll-ups. I have not quite enough Snickers to spell Snickers, but I can spell Rick's, and I have some Starburst. Cody, what is your Halloween costume supposed to be? Yeah, dude, I was wondering that all day. Wait, really? Come on, I'm Harry Potter. Oh, you look like a lawyer. What, a lawyer? Is this what you think a lawyer looks like? Well, you have a tie on and a suit and the Harvard scarf. Well, what did you think this thing in my hand was? Um, it, like a pen so you could write down stuff in court? But no, why, why do you think I have a broom? So you could sweep up your office? Dude, I thought you were a lawyer, but from Antarctica. What, Antarctica? Yeah, because of the scarf, duh. Oh, yeah. No. Well, Joseph, what is your costume supposed to be? Isn't it obvious, dude? I'm a green astronaut. Oh, yeah, a famous green astronaut. I've heard of those. Uh, uh, Cody, you haven't asked what my costume is. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, come on, guess. Is it my mom? No. But really? No, it's not your mom. It's your mom, but in Minecraft. Uh, Jesus. He's thinking outside the box. Junior, you've already been my mom for Halloween before. But I've never been your mom in Minecraft. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, guys, let's trade some candy. Okay, what's your first offer? Okay, well, I really want that Starburst. So, I'll trade you a Milky Way for your Starburst. No, 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 no way. No way I'm trading my Starburst for a little tiny mini Milky Way. Okay, how about this? I will trade you um, ooh, my Kit Kat for the Starburst. Mm, no, no. How about your Cheez-Its for my Starburst? I'm not trading my Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its, okay? So, how about I trade you my fruit snacks for your Starburst? Well, I already have Mott's fruit snacks, and that's actually pretty similar, so no. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Joseph, I, I, you have two Starbursts, so I'm going to trade you something. 
Um, I'll trade you my cheese. It's for your Starburst. Oh, deal, dude. But what the fuck, Junior? That's exactly what I wanted. But he has two Starbursts, so he he has like more to trade than you do. What? Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna pass up on a good deal. <laughs> but it's the same. But it's not the same deal. Look. Now give, give me my. Give me yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have been greedy. Should have given you the Starburst. This is bullshit. Hey guys, call me the Baker's Man, cause I got a cupcake pan. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, are those Reese's Pieces? Oh, dude, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. No, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. Oh, no, I want the Reese's Pieces. Back off, guys. The Reese's Pieces are mine. Yo, man. Oh, darn it. <gasps> Ugh, I'm done with this stupid holiday. Baby, can you help me take my costume off? Okay, Marvin. Be careful. You don't want to touch my thing one. <laughs> my... My one thing. What? My one Daddy, I struck gold. Check it out. Two packs of Reese's Pisces. Wow, Jeffy, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to eat them. Not so fast. Those Reese's Pieces are mine. Wait, 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 actually, he got them trick-or-treating, so they're his. Yeah, well, my, and I hate to call her this, my wife accidentally passed those out, and she knows they're mine, so I am taking these. And if you have a problem with that, you're gonna die. Well, then you're gonna have to fight me. Oh, yeah, my red thing's out. Yeah, my ew, red thing's ew, out. That, that, oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, no, I dropped my lightsaber. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Ow, my eye! Ow, I'm telling my mommy. All right, Daddy, open up a pack of these Reese's pussies. <laughs> Sure, Jeffy. I score five. Bop it. Ow! Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Ow. Give me that goddamn thing. Oh, hello. Hey, you lost, Daddy. He never said throw it. Oh, I want to kill you, Jeffy. Ah, help me! Ah, answer the door! Answer the door! Screw this! There's someone at the door, Marvin. Duh! <laughs> Hello? Please, hide me! I can't do this anymore! Hide you from who? From Goodman! I don't want to work for him anymore! He treats me so badly! So I stole his car and ran away! You stole his car? Yes, so please, hide me! Oh, come, come inside! Who's at the door, Marvin? This is old man, I gotta hide him! Yes, hide me, please! Who is he? Don't ask questions! Uh, hide behind here! Oh, can't breathe. Yeah, that looks good. What's going on? Uh, oh no, that must be Goodman. Don't tell him I'm here. Uh, hello? Where is he? Where's his old ass? Who are you talking about? Don't you bullshit me, Marvin. I'm talking about Chuck. He stole my Lamborghini and parked it out front. Wait, your Lamborghini's here? Marvin, don't you bullshit me. I swear to God, you better tell me where he is or I'm going to give you a spanking. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> All right, Marvin, I'll give you $10,000 if you tell me where he is. He's behind the couch cushion. You give him goddamn ten grand. I'm gonna go upstairs and give him a spanking with it. Hmm. I wonder where Chives is. Aha! Who oh, knew you found me? Oh, 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 stop hitting him! You stay out of this, Marvin. This is between me and Chives. Now, Chives, bend that ass over. It's spanking time. Yes, sir. This is for running away. <laughs> this is for stealing my Lamborghini. <laughs> and this is for being old. <laughs> stop spanking him. He likes it. I don't like it, sir, and I don't like you. You're just on your butler period. Men don't get periods, sir. It's 2023. Yes, they do. I don't like the way you treat me. You don't like the way I treat you? I gave you a room under the staircase like Harry Potter. Everyone likes Harry Potter. You know what? I quit. <gasps> you can't quit. You're poor. Who else is going to hire an 80-year-old man to wipe their ass? Only me. Plus, you get to shave my balls. That's an honor, Chives. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, then I can't do this anymore. I can't have a butler that doesn't want to wipe my ass or shave my balls. You know what? Fine. If you want to quit, quit. But you'll never see money like this ever again. <sighs> smells like your ass, Chives. And I'm going to go spend it so I never have to smell your ass ever again. That was very brave of you to stand up to Mr. Goodman like that. But now I have no job. I'll be homeless. Well, Marvin, we could use some help around the house. Really? So you'll hire me then? Well, we don't have any extra money. 
How much was Goodman paying you? He was paying me nothing. He just let me sleep in a broom closet underneath the stairs. Then why'd you work for him for so long? Because he paid my entire family $20 million each to never speak to me again, so I had nowhere else to go. That's so sad. Well, look, we can't really pay you right now, but we have a bed for you to sleep in. A bed? What an upgrade! I used to have to sleep in a litter box underneath the stairs, so I'll take the job. Now, let's go get those balls shaved, sir. No, you don't have to shave my balls. What? What? So, do you have to take a poop soon? Shall I wipe your bum with my bare hand? No, you don't have to do that either. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Well, go do butler things. Go clean the house. <gasps> Shall I mop the floor with my tongue, sir? No, you can use a mop. <gasps> How generous! Shall I fill the bucket with my spit, or am I allowed to use water? You can use water. Wow. Hey, Danny, I found my bop it. Oh, that's what you could do. You could go play with Jeffy. I'm not sure I know what the word play means there. We can go have fun. I don't think I know what that one means either. Well, go smile and laugh. I haven't smiled in years. Jeffy, go show him a fun time. All right, come on, old man. Okay. Okay, see, look, he can start babysitting Jeffy. Don't touch the sides. No, I hate this game! Hey, Junior! Check out my pet, old man! I am not his pet. I am his butler. Hi. Hello, sir. Jeffy, you want to play Operation with me? That's lame. We can just operate on him. But I don't believe you two are qualified doctor. Shut up and lay right here! Very well, sir. All right, Junior, take his eye. Well, not my eye. I need those to see. Ow! How about we play something else? All right, well, how about throw, throw, burrito? Well, how do you play that game? Well, we take these burritos and throw them at you. Ow! Ow! Oh, is there anything else we can play? <gasps> we can play stair tag. Ooh, is that, like, tag, but you can't blink? No, come here, stair tag. All right. So there's the stairs. Now tag! No! Oh, ooh, ooh, uh. Hey, Danny, I broke my new old friend. What'd you do? We were playing stair tag. What stair tag? Come on, I'll show you. Don't do it. He's going to push you down the stairs. You pushed him down the stairs, Jeffy. Jeffy, we told you not to do that to people anymore. Well, guess what? I'm going to keep fucking doing it. What, Jeffy? No. No. Stop it. Bad. What is he doing? He's smacking his diaper. But why does he have a diaper? Isn't he grown? It's in case I poop my pants. But... Then won't your pants get dirty? No, because I'm wearing a diaper. But your diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty. He's not making any sense. He never does. Jeffy, just go run around. Okay. Okay, so listen, you don't have to play with him anymore. Thank God. But how about you just go make us something to eat? Ooh, shall I cook you some peppercorn filet mignon medium rare with a loaded baked potato? Ooh. No, we don't have that kind of money. How about you just make us a bologna sandwich? What is bologna? Ooh, is that peasant food? Yeah. Yes, it is. So go make us two bologna sandwiches. Very well, sir. I like having a butler. Mm-mm-mm, my -mm -mm, mystery pasta's almost done. Wait, what the hell? Wait, who's that in my kitchen? Hey, get out of my refrigerator! Not in Pippi's kitchen! Get out of here! Now, where is that baloney? Hey, bitch! Excuse me? Nah, ho, what you doing going in my refrigerator? Master Marvin told me to make him a sandwich. Nah, nah, I'm the only chef in this kitchen! This is my kitchen! This is Pippi's kitchen! Why are you barking at me? I'm just trying to make a baloney sandwich for Master Marvin, so could you please show me where the baloney is? Oh, I'll show you! The baloney right here! Oh, why did you punch me? Because you're in my turf! You don't need to be going in my refrigerator without my permission! Look, I'm not looking to fight! Oh, well, I am! Oh, 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 so you want to play dirty then, do you? Well, I'll show you dirty! On guard! Uh, uh, you sure you want this shit? Are you sure you want this shit? You close to your casket, old man! Uh, oh, yeah, you want to play dirty, huh? Oh, you filthy whore! Uh, uh, your father was a hamster, and your mother smelt of elderberries! Don't talk about my mama like that when I had your mama in the bed with me last night! No! Please, have mercy! Oh, hell no! Uh, hey, Marvin, here's your bitch. Yeah, he thought he was running shit. T got ran over. So woo! What happened? I asked him where the balloon he was. What? Yes, apparently that's his turf, so he beat my ass. He does not own the kitchen. Look, can you just go down to the fridge and grab me a Lunchable? No, that's his fridge. I won't go back down there. Okay, so you can't cook, 
You can't play with Jeffy. I'm trying to think of something you can do. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I took a massive dump in the toilet and it clogged it, but I still had to keep pooping, so I took the lid off the back of the toilet and pooped in there. And then every time I flushed it, it kept putting more poop back into the toilet and then eventually overflowed onto the floor. And I thought I was going to be helpful and get a mop and clean it up. But every time I did that, it kept smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it. And, smearing it. and I still had to go poop, so I pooped more in the bathtub. Oh, that's what you can do. You can go clean that mess. Oh, great. How riveting. Thank you. Someone's at the door, Marvin. I hear it. You act like I don't have ears. I heard it. Jeff, you heard it? Mm -hmm. I heard it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Marvin. What's going on? I'm Mr. Gomez's maid, but me know what to work for him no more. And I heard that you hired Mr. Chai, so I was wondering if maybe you could hire me too. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hire Mr. Chives. I just gave him a place to stay. Please, please, I promise that you hire me. I'll thank you like every single day. I'll thank you until my jog is tired. And even if my jog is too tired, you can still use any of my other thank you hearts. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen. Just come inside. Oh, you can do that too in any of my thank you holes. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no saying thank you. Just come inside and let's, let's talk to my wife. Okay. Who is at the door, Marvin? My name Patricia, but Mr. Goodman gave me very many nicknames like Jimmy Changa, Quesadilla, Burrito, Taco Bell, and Stupid Hall. The list goes on and on. This is Mr. Goodman's maid. Well, what is she doing here? She wants a job because she thinks we hired chives. But Marvin, we can't pay her. Let me explain that to her. If we hire you, we won't be able to pay you money. You know I speak English, right? You don't have to speak so slow. Listen, we won't be able to pay you. We're just letting Chai stay here. That's okay. Mr. Goodman don't pay me either. Then why do you work for him? Because I'm a citizen and Mr. Goodman threatened to have me deported unless I thank him. So if you let me stay here, I'll thank you like all the time. Like if you're stressed out, let me thank you. If you're riding in your car, let me thank you. If your wife no thank you, let me thank you. What does thank you mean? Oh, it means I like to stop. Hey, it means she likes to say thank you. See, sometimes Mr. Goodman made me thank him so much, my throat get very sore. Oh, from saying it over and over again? No, from the your welcome juice. Uh, listen, I feel really bad for, maybe we should let her stay here for a few days. <gasps> You're going to let me stay? Let me thank you. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. What is going on? By the way, how long is your, your welcome stick? Because Mr. Gumi is like really big. Like at least 14 inches. What is she talking about? I don't know. Oh no, please, please, if it's Mr. Gumi, don't let him find me. I'm going to hide. Uh, hold on. Hello? Where is she? Where the hell is Quesadilla? And don't you dare lie to me like you did last time. <sighs> she's upstairs. She didn't think you, did she? Because if she did, that would ruin her to me. No, but she's offered a lot. Ooh, I'm coming in! Now, where's Chimichanga? Don't look behind the couch cushion. Chimichanga not here right now. God, you're so dumb. Oh, no! You found me! Don't let me thank you. Why did you run away, Taco Salad? I thought I treated you great. You made me thank you so much, my frog is very sore. And you called me mean names. Well, I'm sorry, Nachos Bel Grande. It's just so hard for me to remember your name. My name Patricia. All right, Pico de Gallo. I'll try harder next time. Goodman, don't, don't you think if you respected your workers, they'd want to work for you? I'm rich. I don't know how poor people think. Well, maybe if you paid them, they'd want to work for you. Pay them like money? But then I'd have less of it. Listen, listen. What if I asked you to make me a sandwich? No. Okay, now what if I said I'll give you $1,000 to make me a sandwich? Yes. See? See how money made you want to do it? Huh. Yeah, money did make me want to make you a sandwich. So you're telling me that if I pay my employees, that they'll actually want to work for me? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess, Churro, I'll pay you $10 an hour. Oh! Let me thank you. Go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute, and then you can thank me as much as you want. See. Si. Now, where's Chives? He's cleaning the bathroom. All right, I'm going to give him some money, too. Ugh, disgusting. That was the most fecal matter I've ever seen. Hey, Chives. Oh, sir, what are you doing here? I came to give you a spanking. Ah! Ah! I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about it, Chives, and my balls need to be shaved because there's a little bit of peach fuzz on them. I told you I wouldn't do that anymore, sir. Well, I'm willing to pay you $5 an hour. <gasps> but... 
But sir, that's so much money! How will you afford it? I don't know. I'll probably have to sell a couple cars or live on the side of the road or maybe we'll even rent out your little Harry Potter closet. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! Now let's go get those balls shaved. All right, but you're driving because Sour Cream's got to thank me, so come on. Very well, sir. Marvin, you did some good today. You got two people back their jobs with pay. Yeah, but no one thanked me. Well, let me thank you. <laughs> the house to ourselves since Jeffy's out playing bowl the ball with his friends. You mean bowling? Oh, that's a clever name for it, Marvin. They should call it that. They do. Well, they will now since you said it. Well, Marvin, you should go downstairs and lock the front door. Ooh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we don't want just anybody walking in because who knows where we'll end up. Okay, I'll go lock it. Let me just lock the door. Marvin, hurry! Ooh, freaky time! All right, Jeffy, I have a 115. That means you have to get a nine to tie or 10 points to win. I'm gonna get it strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know you're not. Yeah. It's going, it's going! Ha, Jeffy, you got a seven. That means you have to get two to tie and all of them to win. Well, I'm gonna get all of them. Yeah, right, you can't get all of them. You're gonna lose. No, I'm not, I'm gonna win. Yeah, we'll see about that, guys. All right. All right, Jeffy, you got this. All you gotta do is get three little pins and you win. Oh. Ah he didn't get a single pin! Ah. You suck at bowling, Jeffy, you lose! I don't suck at bowling! I hate losing at bowling! And I hate locked doors more! Let's try that again! That's one way again, Sean. Oh, baby, that was amazing. Marvin, you didn't even make it to five Mississippis. I made it to four Mississippis, and that's a new record. How many Mississippis do you need? Mama needs a lot of Mississippis. And then you can name all 50 states and start on countries. All right, baby, let's watch a movie. What do you want to watch? Um, let's watch Came in 60 Seconds. I mean, Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay. Marvin, you should go unlock the door downstairs in case Jeffy comes home. Good idea, baby. What the? Was that a bowling ball? Who, who would do this? That is fucked up! That is fucked up! Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, pinecone dick. What? Acorn balls. Jimmy, I'm being serious. You need to listen to me right now. Oh, cherry stem dick curves to the side. Jimmy, listen to me. Did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, what? but you seem mad. I am mad, Jimmy, because someone threw a bowling ball through the front door and you went bowling with your friends. I ain't go bowling with my friends. I've been here all night. I don't even like bowling. Bowling's gay. So you're telling me you didn't go bowling with your friends? Nope. Well, someone threw a bowling ball through the front door. I know, and I heard it too. And whoever did it, they did it twice. Because the first time, the bowling ball didn't break the glass. How do you know? I don't know. I heard it. Well, Jeffy, if you're telling me the truth, did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, I did not. Okay, well, I'm going to call the cops and find out who did it. Yeah, and I think you should, too, because there's a bowling ball bandit on the loose going around throwing bowling balls at people's front doors because it's locked. Okay, well, I'm... How'd you know the door was locked? Lucky guess. All right, well, I'm calling the cops. If I find out it was you, you're so grounded. You're going to military school. You're going to be kicked out on the streets. I'm going to make sure you never step foot in this house again. Oh, bowling pin dick. Jeffy, stop. Sit. Ow! Okay, I'll see you then. Please hurry. Marvin, what was all that shouting? Someone threw a bowling ball through our front door. What? Yeah, there's glass everywhere. I just called the cops and they're on their way. What? Who would do that? I have no idea. Someone who wanted to cause our life a lot of problems. That must be the cops. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, you don't even have to open the door, I'm right here. Oh, hey. What's up, brother? What was that? I don't know, just a thing people are saying. This is serious, there's broken glass all on my door. Yeah, I was just gonna say, who did you piss off? The Incredible Hulk? No, yeah, I, I can do better. Uh, who, who knocked on your front door last? The Incredible Hulk? <laughs> yeah, it's not really working, is it? Okay, how about this? Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the glass in your front door, because I'm the Incredible Hulk, and when I knocked it, 
broke the glass. Stop with the Incredible Hulk jokes, they're not funny. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, 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 that's working. Uh, who did you piss off? A rock thrower? Y you know, because they say don't throw rocks at glass houses in glass houses? Who did you piss off? The rock? Painted green, so he looks like the Incredible Hulk. Oh, take this seriously! Listen, the crime was committed. Someone broke into my house with a bowling ball. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll come in. But um, do I open the door or just crawl in through the hole? Just crawl in. <laughs> this is silly. See, look, there's a bowling ball right here, and someone threw this through my door, and look at all this glass. Did they steal anything? No, they just threw the bowling ball and left. My God, I can only think of one man who would leave a bowling ball as a calling card. Who? Bobby Bowling Hands. Bobby Bowling Hands? Who's that? Yeah, let's come upstairs and I'll tell you. Let's get away from all this glass. Okay. Oh good, Marvin, the cops are here. What's he saying? I have a story about who I think the perp is. Bobby Bowling Hands. Bobby Bowling Hands? Yeah, sit back, let me tell you about him. So you remember the story about my nemesis in high school, Billy Bowling Hands, who lost his hands in a train accident, replaced them with bowling balls, he was really good at bowling, I challenged him to a swimming race, he drowned, you know the story. Well, Billy had a younger brother named Bobby Bowling Hands. I had a wood shop class with him, and he was so sad about his brother Billy dying, that while we were cutting wood for a wood wooden race car project, he cut his hands off and replaced them with bowling balls like his brother. Ironically, he wasn't as good at bowling. He wanted to avenge his brother's death by getting payback on me, so he asked me if he could wash my car to save up cash for his brother's funeral, so I felt bad for him and I told him yes, but washing a car with bowling ball hands went about as well as you'd expect. He dented my car all over and smashed the windshield. I was so mad, I just knew he did it on purpose. Then at prom, I was with my hot date and I asked Bobby if he would get me a glass of punch, so he tried to grab the ladle to pour some punch into the cup, but his bowling ball hand smashed the bowl and made the punch spill all over my date and my rented white suit. It was so embarrassing. I just know Bobby did it on purpose. So I just know that bowling ball through your front door is because of Bobby. He's always trying to make my life more inconvenient just because his brother died. Well, that would make sense if there was a bowling ball through your front door, but the bowling ball went through my front door. It has nothing to do with you. Well, you see, Marvin, that's the genius of Bobby. He's a born tactician. Every move is a pawn off the board. He's playing four-dimensional chess, Marvin. He knows that I'm over here all the time because he's probably been following me. So he knew that you would have me fix your front door for $500, and of course I'm going to do it because it's $500. I wasn't going to ask you to fix my door. I was going to call a company. Well, you see, Marvin, that's exactly the genius of it. He knew you were going to say no, and I would want $500. So I'm going to go downstairs and fix your front door, and you're going to give me $500, just like Bobby wants us to do. Because if we go off script, he's going to come up with something even worse. This way, whenever he shows up, we'll be ready for him. That ought to do it. All right, Marvin, the door's fixed. What, what is this? A fixed door? Well, no, 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 I didn't want wood. I want a glass right here. What, so another bowling ball can come crashing through? I don't think so, Marvin. This is Brazilian mahogany. Nothing's breaking through that, except for maybe the Incredible Hulk. But you're not going to see him or piss him off because he's not even real. And even if he was, I don't know why he would come here. He'd be at my house because I have animal crackers. I think he'd like that. Well, no, I want a whole new door. A whole new door. Y you know, Marvin, like the song from Aladdin, don't you dare close your eyes. Listen, listen, listen. I wanted a brand new door with glass. I, Cause How am I going to see who's at the door if someone comes to the door? Well, that's exactly the point, Marvin. It'll be a surprise every time. It could be a serial killer or it could be an Amazon Prime package. You won't know until you open the door. Go get me a new door. Okay, well, you owe me $500 for this. I'm not paying $500 for this crappy duct tape job. Okay, well, give me $500 and I'll go buy you a new door. You promise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's $500. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take this and go to the door store. Here I go. To the door store. Okay. I'll be back. Sure I will. What'd you say? I said I'll be back. And then I said, sure I will. Just reassuring you that I will be back. You better come back. I will. Sure I will. <sighs> Marvin, did he fix the front door? I mean, not really. He just put wood over where the glass used to be. Oh no, Marvin. What are we gonna do? What if Bobby Bullinghands comes back? Baby, I don't think there ever was a Bobby Bullinghands. I think he just wanted an excuse to make $500. Well, what do we do, Marvin? I don't know. I just wish there was a way that we could really see what happened to our front door. Hey, we could always check the Nest doorbell camera. Oh yeah, baby. Check the app. See okay. what the footage says. Let's see. Oh, Marvin? <laughs> It was Jimmy! Oh, it was Jimmy! Marvin, we should have known! Oh, give me the phone! I'm gonna go beat some ass! Oh, I'll beat some ass tonight! Jimmy! Jimmy's not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the... Uh, uh.
Jeffy, I can't wait to see you try to get out of this one. So earlier I asked you if you threw a bowling ball through the front door and you said, fuck no. Exactly. Now press play on this video and you tell me what you see. That is not me. Oh, that's not you? No, that's my cousin. First name Ree, middle name Tar, last name Did. Oh, so that's not you, that's your cousin. Yep. Jeffy, I know that too, and why did you do it? Well, someone decided to lock the front door. How else was I supposed to get in? Ring the doorbell? Too hard. Oh, that's it. I'm beating some ass. You bend over, some ass beating's about to happen. You cannot touch me, or else I will call Child Protective Services on your bitch ass. Ow, 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 help, help, hey. Hey, stop it! Jeffy, that is it. I am going to go in your piggy bank, and I'm going to take all the money so I can buy a new door. You don't touch my piggy bank, you bitch! Me! Don't touch it! Oh, Jeffy's going to get it now. Marvin, what are you doing? I'm going to break open Jeffy's piggy bank and get my money back from my door. Marvin, don't! Mommy, stop him! I don't know what to do! You asked for this, young man, and now you're going to get it. No, Piggy, no! Daddy, no! You bitch! You whore! What? What? Pennies! Where would your money go, Jeffy? Money laundering, bitch! Oh, that is have a damn let go of him! I need money for my daughter! No. I'll have one, Jeffy. Here you go, Mommy. It's really good. I've already eaten 50 pieces. It's super chewy. Wait, you swallowed this? Yes, I just said I ate 50 pieces. Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow gum. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with it? You chew it and spit it out. What's the point in that? Well, because it tastes good. Exactly why I swallowed it. Listen, Jeffy, you're just supposed to chew it and spit it out. That's it. Have I been eating food wrong my whole life? I'm just supposed to chew it up and then spit it out? No, you can swallow food, just not gum. Oh, so I can chew and swallow food, but I have to spit out candy. No, you can swallow candy, just not gum. Life's rules are too hard! Jeffy, you chew gum for the flavor. Yeah, it's like toothpaste. It tastes really good, but you're not supposed to swallow it. Well, I eat a tube of toothpaste every single day. Is that why we're out of toothpaste? Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow toothpaste! Well, then make me a list of all the things I'm not supposed to swallow. Okay, that's a very long list. Let's make a list of things you can swallow. Only food, and that's it. Wait a minute. Is this for fat people? What? So they can chew it and get the sensation of eating food and then they don't have to swallow it and so they don't gain weight? Yes, Jeffy, it's for fat people. That's what gum is for fat people. Well, that's all you had to say. Okay, but baby, he still swallowed 50 pieces of gum. Marvin, should we call the doctor? <sighs> no, let's just make sure he can poop. Hey, Jeffy, go to the bathroom and poop. Why would I go to the bathroom when I have a perfectly good pair of shorts I can shit in? Because you're not supposed to poop in your shorts. If you're going to do that, go to your room. Oh, oh, well, if you send me to my room, I'm going to shit in my bed. Jeffy, we just cleaned those sheets. And smear it all over the walls. No, Jeffy, just don't go stay here then. All right, that's what I'm doing. No. <sighs> Marvin, are you sure he's going to be okay? Let's just make sure he can have a bowel movement so that his, you know, they're not obstructed or anything. Okay. Marvin, we haven't heard from Jeffy in days. Do you think he's okay? Baby, he's a kid. He's fine. He's probably at his friend's house making a fort talk and playing a tick night. Hey, dang. Oh my god, Jeffy! Why is your stomach so big? Are you okay? I haven't been able to poop in days. I'm constipated as shit. Baby, the gum, it's probably clogging his colon. What do we do? We have to call a doctor. Tell him I look like a truck driver looking for a lot lizard. Oh, okay. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's fat from eating gum. Oh no, did he eat that Willy Wonka gum that makes you get all fat and turn blue? But it couldn't be that, because he's not blue, and also Willy Wonka's not real, that was just a movie. You know what, I'll let you talk. He kept chewing and swallowing gum. Well, you're not supposed to swallow it. We told him that, but he'd already swallowed 50 pieces. 50 pieces? Jesus, his intestines must be pink. I mean, pinker than normal, because of the gum, because gum is pink. I'll stop. Listen, he looks constipated. Of course he's constipated. He looks like he's about to pop. He's literally full of shit. We're going to have to fish that gum out of his ass like a dog. Okay, well, how much gum do you think's in his ass? I don't know. I just have to take a look with my Doc McStuffins autoscope. Out of my way. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going the other way. All right, let's take a look in that butt. Spread them. All right. All right, let's see what we got going on. <laughs> okay, don't do that. My face is right there. Sorry. Let me just take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna get pink eye, okay? I am literally human centipeding your asshole with my eye, okay? My eye is right there. Stop. Stop down! Down, boy! Stop it! Marvin! Marvin, tell him to stop! Jeffy, stop farting. I'm sorry! I can't help it! I'm backed up! Just try to hold it at least. Stop! stop. I, I, okay, 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 I can see the gum, okay? It, it's all up in there. No, I, 
What, you got a tuba in your ass? Stop it! Jeffy, stop it! Stop! Okay, okay, now, now, Jeffy, I, I need you to fart as hard as you can when I say go, okay? I'm gonna move my face out of the way, okay? Now go! <laughs> Marvin, look at that ass bubble! Wait, he's blowing a bubble with his ass of gum? Yeah! Okay, well, pop it! What? No, there's enough methane in there to kill a hundred men! Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? I, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna take it outside and release it. Come with me. Oh, okay. So why do you want me to come out here with you? Check out this noise I can make. Isn't that so annoying? It's like a balloon. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. Stop! Hey, Marvin. Five bucks, you let me release this fart in your face. Ew, no! Oh, come on! We're men! This is man stuff! Hey, he farted in my face way more than that. Come on! Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Okay. Hey, <laughs> 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 doesn't that stink? Oh my god, I'm so sick. I've never seen anyone throw up that much. Where's my five bucks? Oh, all I actually have is this two dollar bill. You said you had a five! Yeah, but I saw it upside down, and see, it looks kind of like a five. Still backwards, though. Here. Where's my three dollars? Really? How bad do you have it, you bitching over three dollars? Marvin, look, while you're away, Jeffy made another fart bubble. Oh, dibs. Come on, Marvin, let's release it outside. I don't want to release it outside. Wait, I dropped it. What? Oh my god, Marvin, it floats! What? How's it doing that? I guess the methane is so toxic that it makes it float. Huh, well, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, Marvin, we could be billionaires. I have an idea. See, Marvin, there's a helium shortage. Eventually, all the helium's gonna run out, and there won't be enough for balloons for parties. But we could start a business where we make balloons out of Jeffy's ass. That would be an amazing idea. We would be billionaires. Marvin, no, you can't exploit Jeffy. Oh, shut up. You're a woman. What do you know about business? Why are you always so mean to me? Look, I'll put this in terms you can understand, okay? White bread, cheese, ham, mayonnaise, no crusts, go. No, I'm not making you a sandwich. Marvin, stick up for me. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Make mine wheat bread. <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Okay, I'm gonna go out and get a business license and print business cards, you know, that say Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated, so so that people know how to find us. You just keep feeding Jeffy gum, okay? Okay. All right, Jeffy, you hungry? Yep. All right, let me get some gum. Okay, I did a lot. Hey, Marvin. Hey, where have you been? It's been hours. I've been tying strings to these bubbles so they don't fly away. Where have I been? I've been in business meetings, making things happen, cashing checks. Cashing checks? Yeah, everybody wants a piece of Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You actually made a business card? Yeah, I said I would. How else are people supposed to find us? Well, do we even have any orders? Do we even have any orders? Marvin, we already have 2,000 orders due tomorrow. 2,000 orders? Yeah, we got weddings, birthday parties, gay pride parades, gay birthday parties, gay weddings. Well, why are people choosing us? Because of the helium shortage. Nobody else can keep up, and they can't beat our prices. Gum is cheaper than balloons. I guess that makes sense. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Who is this? Oh, no, it's Carl. I meant to call him back, and I forgot. Hey, Carl, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we're working on that right now. No, ca Carl, Carl, listen to me. Carl, no, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that order by the end of next week, buddy. No, I know. I know they're trying to take your house. Yeah, and they want to put you in a nursing home. I know. What, what, there's a talking dog? And a Boy Scout. Maybe you belong in a home, Carl. Sorry about that. That was Carl from Disney Pixar's Up. He needs a million balloons so he can float his house away to a waterfall or some shit. Honestly, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that, but he put down a deposit. So that's how we're able to afford the Super Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial? Oh, yeah, we got a Super Bowl commercial, I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah, and I also booked Jeffy for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We need him to blow up SpongeBob with his ass. And Dora the Explorer and Stewie from Family Guy. Wait, I'm getting a text. What's this? Oh, and also Blue from Blue's Clues, so make sure he keeps eating out of that feed bag. Oh. Hey, Danny, I got another one. <laughs> oh, clip it, clip it, Marvin, clip it. Hold on, I got it, I got it. Ugh, this one's hot off the hole, Marvin. Here, tie this. Okay. What, what? Wow, Marvin, you just wasted good product. I didn't have a good grip. Yeah, well, you need to get a grip. This is money we're talking about. Oh, my God, it smells so bad in here. That's the smell of money, Marvin. You better get used to it. <laughs> Who's that? That's one of our customers. Here, give me these. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm here for my balloon order. Here you go, ma'am. Oh my god, thank you so much for getting this to me on such short notice for my 18th birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That'll be $500. Oh my god, I don't have any money. Is there another way I can pay you? Hmm. Is your birthday today? Yeah. I think we can work something out. Well, Marvin, another satisfied customer. Well, I was satisfied. Oh, great. Where's the money? Um, I kind of gave her those ass balloons for free. Well, not for free. We did work something out. You can't be giving them away for free. Look, doing stuff like this is going to give us good mouth. I, I mean, word of mouth. I mean, she used her mouth. Okay, look, it'll help our reputation, okay? But to be honest, it was pretty mid. I should have just charged her. Yeah, the post nut clarity is really starting to kick in. Well, while you were down there, we got two more done. Two more? We're going to need a lot more than that. Get to farting, Jeffy. He's farting as fast as he can. No, no, no. When my face was down there, he was going nuts. 
also, what's with the only pink? Well, that's the only color we have, bubble gum. Hold on, Marvin. I need you to feed him these gumballs, okay? We need to diversify our colors. We need blue. Boys have birthdays, too. And also, you're going to want to get started on the yellow because we need to get a head start for SpongeBob. All right, Jeffy, you need to eat these colored ones. I eat the blue one. Yeah, here, okay. take this blue one. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is a good one. See, Marvin, that's what I'm talking about, colors. Now we're gonna start raking in the real cash. Daddy, my butthole hurt. Jeffy, just keep eating the gum. You can take a break in an hour. Breaks? No, 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 we don't have time for breaks, okay? We got a bar mitzvah coming up in an hour, and the mom is hot as holy hell. I hope she can't pay. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello, Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You got the cash or ass, and we got the gas. Hi, my son sucked the helium from one of your balloons, and now he's not moving. Oh, uh, well, ma'am, we at Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated do not recommend you suck the gas out, because that, that's not helium, that's methane, so your son's probably dead. Bye. Uh, yeah, Marvin, we got a problem. Kids are sucking the gas out of the balloons and the dying. But dying? Yeah, but it's okay. It's not our problem. I'll just start printing warning labels. Well, no, it sounds like it's our problem. Nah, don't worry about it. Who's that? Yeah, it's probably just another customer. I'll get it. Hello? Mr. Fredrickson wants his balloons. Who the hell is Mr. Fredrickson? Carl. Oh shit, Carl. What? I already told Carl that I won't be able to give him the balloons for at least another month. He's not happy. He wants a refund. Refund? No, no, no. We don't do refunds. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, give him this. Tell him it'll at least lift his house a few inches. Maybe a door or two. Okay. <sighs> Who was at the door? It was one of Carl's goons. He wants his balloons and he's pissed. Well, how many more balloons do we owe him? We owe him 999,000 more. How are we going to do that? I don't know, but we better do it or else he's going to want a refund and we won't be able to pay for our Super Bowl commercial. We did not need a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, well, I'm starting to agree with that, but I already spent the money on this suit and these Armani glasses that are taped to my head because they didn't fit. So you better start farting, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired. Tired? No, no, no. You better put that butthole into overdrive, mister. I'm gonna hop on you like hop on pop, get you to fart. <clears throat> Come on, fart. <clears throat> fart, boy. I think I got one coming. <sighs> Come on, speak to me, boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> No, no, Marvin, Marvin, the machine is broken. He's tapped out. We gotta start eating gum, come on. Well, no, I'm not gonna eat gum, it's dangerous. We have to. Who's that? Oh no, God, I hope that's not Carl. Hello? Hey there, I'm looking for Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. That's us. Great, you're being sued for the death of Carl Fredrickson, a kid named Russell, a dog named Doug, and a snipe named Kevin. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Carl Fredrickson purchased balloons from Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. He then took those balloons inside his house, which he then lit a match, and it caused the balloons to ignite, exploding his house. So now, Disney and Pixar is making a movie called Down. Oh, uh, well, 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 on the card, it shows him farting into the balloons, so the methane is implied. They really should have known better. Yes, but there's no warning on the back, only your phone number written in invisible ink. Yeah, that's the only pen I had. I buy my pens from National Treasure Nicholas Cage. Well, that's great, because I have a court order here shutting this shit down, and it was printed with invisible ink, so get your lemon juice and your hair dried and figure that shit out. Well, how much are we being sued for? Everything. Okay. Well, Marvin, it's over. What do you mean? We're getting sued. How? Well, read it. It's blank. Oh yeah, it's written in invisible ink. Basically, we're getting sued because people were dying using our balloons. I told you that was gonna be our problem. Yeah, you did. Well, we still had a good run. I almost fulfilled my dream of having the world's most successful ass-based balloon business. And I got sucked off so many times. What? Nothing, but we're gonna have to file for bankruptcy. But that's okay, they can't sue us personally. That's why I made a business. You know, you know, just gonna shut that shit down. That'll be fine, we're protected. You know what, I, I actually am going to take some balloons with me for the road because, you know, people forgot my birthday this week.
Es un río siempre fluyendo, con cada cambio seguimos creciendo. A veces es calma, a veces tormenta en cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta, cambiando con la vida, como las hojas al viento, encontrando nuestro camino en cada momento, momento, a través de las sesiones, a través del tiempo. Cambiando con la vida en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad. Con cada paso dado aprendemos a vivir. La vida nos transforma, nos hace Y aunque el camino sea incierto y el futuro no se vea claro, con el cambio encontramos nuestro verdadero fao. En cada desafío, en cada prueba, la vida nos moldea, nos lleva. Cambiando con la vida como las hojas al viento Encontrando nuestro camino Cada momento las estaciones A través del tiempo Cambiando con la vida En su eterno movimiento Así que abracemos el cambio Con valor y fe La vida es un viaje que siempre nos ve en cada transformación, en cada renovación, cambiando con la vida, es nuestra canción. Sin nubes, donde el sol siempre brilla Encuentro un paraíso lleno de maravillas Los campos verdes, flores, en mil colores Es el lugar de mis sueños lleno de amores Es un paraíso brillante Donde el alma puede volar Un mundo lleno de luz Donde puedo descansar Cada día es una fiesta un sueño en este paraíso todo es tan bello las montañas se elevan como guardianes del cielo ríos que cantan un dulce desvelo cada rincón es un cuento de magia y paz en este donde quiero estar más Y aunque el camino sea largo Y a veces oscuro Siempre hay un rayo de luz Un refugio seguro En los brazos del paraíso Encuentro mi hogar Un lugar de esperanza Donde puedo soñar Un lugar 